Hello guys, today I will show you an interesting project that I run together with my friend Odysseus and founder of robot.com.cy, which is in store with educational material in electronics and robotics. If anyone want to visit his page I will leave a link in the descriptions. The specific project will have to do with rapid diagnosis of used refurbished or new lithium batteries. For example, when we have used battery pack from electric bicycle scooter or other vehicle and we want to disassemble it and build another new battery with a higher capacity or higher voltage system, we usually disassemble all the battery pack and measure the capacity of each cell separately. Usually the results of capacity test will be at normal range or even more than it written on the battery specification. This does not mean that the battery is in good condition. We need to pay more attention to the internal resistance of the battery and suck voltage at high loads. Only then we will know how good the battery is. I say this because if we build a battery pack measuring only the capacity of each battery cell, as soon as we put it under load we will see that it makes a very large voltage drop. For example, from 100% battery with one twist of the throttle the battery will drop at 60% under load. This means that the internal resistance of the battery is high and as you understand we cannot use it on our vehicle. On the occasion of this fact for many years I wanted to make something that would give me correct results for the state of the battery immediately, so that I could fearlessly build a decent battery pack for my project. With the help of the cells we built the first version of the circuit that would have the basic measurements features like internal resistance, suck voltage and current flow through the battery. This battery meter project is based on the Robo Uno Plus development board of Odysseus. It is an open hardware inspired by the old Arduino R3. It was designed to be 100% compatible with the classic Uno R3 to use and expand the huge ecosystem around it but redesign it from scratch with additional hardware features to make it more comprehensive and versatile platform for enthusiasts. If anyone interested in the project drop a comment below to refactor and release the project on GitHub. Now let's do some tests on used batteries to see the results from the board. First test will be on LG GH2 battery which is at 3000 mA with maximum output of 20 amps. As you can see on the screen the results is very good for this particular battery. Before the load the voltage was at 4.24 volts. Under load it was at 4.12 volts. Voltage drop at 0.12 volts only. Load on the battery at 7 amps and internal resistance at 2 milliohms. So this means that our battery is new. I will press the test button again to do a second test. So you can see that the results that the device give us are almost exactly the same as the previous test. I also have a battery from Tesla vehicle for test and I am very curious to see the condition of this cell. As you can see the voltage drop is very low, around 0.2 volts and internal resistance at 3 milliohms, which means the battery is in perfect condition. And at second test again we have the same results. In the next test we have a Sanyo battery, which I took from a very old electric bike. As you can see the voltage drop is not that bad for such an old battery. Also internal resistance is quite good, about 0.7 milliohms. Now let's do a test with some LG batteries that produce full factory capacity on Opus capacity tester.
As you can see, in addition to the fact that this specific battery had reached a full factory capacity, its internal resistance is very high, at 12 milliohms, and drop voltage are huge, at 0.67 volts. As you understand, we cannot use this particular battery in the vehicle that needs a lot of current. We could use it in devices that have very low consumption, to get their capacity. That's it for today guys with this particular project, I will make a playlist only about this device, so stay tuned and see you in the next video. Thank you.